Karnal based National Dairy Research Institute is India's premier research organization that has been serving the nation over decades through its commendable research in the field of dairy production, processing, and management. It is the first institute in the world to clone buffaloes with the hand guided clone technology. In June 2020, the institute successfully cloned its 16th buffalo calf, which has been named Tejas. This calf of the Murra breed was developed using an ear cell of a male buffalo. According to the NDRI scientists, high-yielding female buffaloes can be obtained by using the semen of this clone. Such buffaloes can give 10 to 12 litres of milk every day. Since last 10 years, we have produced many clone calf. And the recent calf which has been produced in June 2020 is named as a uh, Tejas. And Tejas is uh, just because that we believe that this is the calf which was produced from the high genetic uh, merit uh, buffalo bull uh, uh, and the somatic shell. Through this uh, bull, uh, the, the milk production will be enhanced, we can say that doubled in, in case of the buffalo which was producing around 6 kg milk per day. So surely with this help of this uh, the cloning technology, uh, this will going to be enhanced by 12 liter per day. Modern cloning technology uses somatic cells from a donor animal that usually belongs to a better breed. Thereafter, an egg cell or oocyte is taken from another animal and its nucleus is removed by a needle. The nucleus of the somatic cell is then transferred to the enucleated egg cell and donor nuclei are then fused using electricity and cultured. The embryo is then implanted in the womb of an adult female. This process produces a clone of the donor animal, retaining all its hereditary qualities. In this technology, we are taking the oocyte from the slaughterhouse, removing all the genetic material available in the oocytes, and we are taking the tissue or cells from animal those who want to clone. And from these uh, oh, these uh, enucleated oocyte we fuse with the uh, somatic cells and after seven days this um, fused embryo becomes the blastocyst and this blastocyst is going to transfer into surrogate animals and after 10 months we are getting the cloned calf and this calf is similar to the parent or from where the cells is isolated. The prime focus of the NDRI has been on improving the quality of the animal breed. This is vital in order to achieve better milk production in the country in view of the growing population. According to the Institute, by 2021-22, there would be a requirement of 140 million doses of semen in the country for artificial insemination. Whereas, the present availability is only 85 million doses. Cloning technology can help in decreasing this gap as male cattle developed from this technique can produce about 5,000 semen doses per year, which are enough to breed 1,250 female calves. This is quite a large number than the normal male cattle which can breed only 100 to 150 females per year. Today, if you see the scenario, uh, in case of the buffalo, we have a very limited number of bulls, around 8,000 bulls uh, will be required. And today we have around 3,700 3, bulls. So it means that through this uh, uh, technique uh, the developed by NDRI, uh, we will have a number of elite animals, bulls, and then so in and this uh, what we can say that if you uh, uh, use this uh, the cloning uh, technology in one year time you can have uh, over 100 bulls produced which is and that to the quality bulls so this is what advantage we have today from this technology at present buffaloes of the murra breed produce on an average 6 to 8 liters of milk while the females born by using the semen of Tejas will produce 10 to 12 litres of milk per day. Thus, the milk production in the country will increase along with the income of the farmers. 
NDRI developed its first clone named Garma in the year 2009. And since then, the institute is working consistently to produce a better breed of cattle. The institute is now working on its plans for the next year.